the big story. Of course, we are just hours away from this year's first presidential debate in Atlanta. And while President Biden and former President Donald Trump have done this before, this time there will be no live audience and there won't, they will not be able to talk over each other. Uh, new CBS News polling finds that 63% of voters uh, planning to watch the debate live say they are most looking forward to hearing about the candidates' policies and plans, while only 12% are interested in their interactions with each other. Our Caitlin Huey Burns is following all of this for us from Atlanta. Well, I mean, I hope the candidates take heed. We want to know what they're going to promise the country. In addition to that polling, new CBS polling also asked voters if this debate could actually change their political views. And 67% said no. So then, I mean, I guess who will the candidates be speaking to? Are they going to be trying to change minds or just really kind of win over that elusive, un unconfirmed voter? <laughs> yeah, good morning, Anne-Marie. Elusive is right. And those types of voters who are persuadable at this point are just such a small percentage of the electorate and in just a handful of battleground states. You know, I've been traveling around the country, following these campaigns, talking to voters. There are very few who haven't actually made up their minds. But the decision that they're making a lot of times when I, I talk to them is, will they show up and vote at all? We know that uh, a lot of voters are disenchanted by these candidates, disappointed that these are their choices. And so whether to show up is the big question this time around. But it's interesting, Emory, also in our polling, we saw that Biden supporters want him to turn the heat up tonight. And Trump supporters want him to turn the heat down tonight. Hmm. So we're also watching how respective uh, political camps, those base voters that these candidates also have to turn out and make sure they turn out, are watching this as well. Interesting. Well, former Republican Congressman Adam uh, Kinzinger, who just formally endorsed President Biden, uh, he spoke recently about, you know, what to expect from Trump's team during the debate. And I want to play some of that sound. They're setting expectations that if Joe Biden does well and better than Donald Trump, it must be some outside influence like drugs. It's asinine. It's insane. It's disrespectful to the president of the United States, regardless of who's president. And uh, it just goes to show how desperate they are. Well, I mean, we've sort of seen this tactic before, sowing a little bit of doubt ahead of time. I mean, we saw it with the, with the last election. Um, how is uh, former President Donald Trump preparing for, for this debate? And, and, and what do you think, how do you think he's going to try and paint President Biden? You know, Anne-Marie, it's really interesting because over the past several months, Trump and his team have been setting a very low bar for Biden, you know, criticizing him, saying he can barely stand up, saying that he's going to be spending uh, the past week in debate prep. But then over the past several days, you've seen kind of a shift in strategy um, uh, going after the debate moderators, the debate uh, hosts themselves, and uh, trying to uh, tell reporters that they think that Biden is already kind of coming into this uh, with a um, advantage, which is kind of interesting if you think about how they've been been framing this. Now they've been, you know, uh, tr they were trying to kind of um, uh, uh, in increase expectations for, for Biden, and now they are saying that, you know, they're, they're kind of changing that strategy a little bit. But what's interesting for Trump, too, is, you know, you talk to his supporters, and they do want him to turn the temperature down, but you also know that when on the attack, he is going to go after him as well. And we also can expect, you know, these indictments, this, the conviction in New York to come up. And Trump and his team say they are well prepared for that and to shift strategy. Immigration obviously going to be key for Trump. Also, the economy is going to be key. Um, that's really interesting because that's also sort of part of a consistent narrative with Donald Trump to sort of identify that the deck is stacked against him, that the system is sort of somewhat against him. Who are these moderators? You know, we've seen this in a number of different areas. Um, but this debate is going to be a little different than the first time in 2020 when they matched up. Can we talk about the differences? That's exactly right. I mean, the biggest difference is they're going, there is going to be a mute button. So remember that first matchup where you could barely even hear from the candidates because they were talking over each other. Trump especially was uh, interrupting in that debate. Uh, the mute button will allow for none of that. Uh, so that will be interesting. And, and in some ways, uh, Emory, that could work to Trump's 
advantage because he was criticized after that first deba debate. He admits himself, essentially, in, in recent interviews, uh, because he was interrupting so much. And Trump himself acknowledged that in the, that second debate, he didn't interrupt as much and, in her, his words, got higher marks for it. Uh, so not being able to interrupt and mute is going to be better for the viewers, actually, because they could actually hear from these candidates. But as you mentioned, um, they are also, this is the first time that they are going to be on a stage together. The, this is the first time that two presidents, one current, one former, are facing each other in this kind of setting. It's also happening way earlier than it has in the past. And the Biden campaign has been hoping that that will change the trajectory of this race, because according to polling, especially in battleground states, uh, this has been very tight with Trump with uh, a slight edge in some of these areas. Yeah, it's it's like odd to have to keep saying the presumptive nominees when we're talking about the debate, because usually by this time, these are the nominees, you know? I thought, you know, not having a studio audience, too, I think is pretty significant. Yes. For the audience at home, I just think about those, like, those one-liners, those zingers that kind of pick up and become uh, viral moments. But a lot of that has to do with feeding off of the audience, how the audience reacts. And now there'll be none of that. Yeah, that's a really important distinction from past debates as well. This is just going to be the two candidates in a studio, essentially a television studio. Two candidates, two moderators, and that's it. Uh, Trump likes to feed off a crowd. We know this, having covered him for so long. Uh, that is why he hosts a lot of these rallies. So not having that studio, not having an audience there uh, could be a disadvantage to Trump and a perhaps advantage uh, to Biden to be able to kind of not, uh, you know, feed off that crowd and also uh, not have the interruptions of the crowd. So that will be, you know, interesting to watch how they do that. But again, 90 minutes, uh, only two commercial breaks. This is a real split screen for the country. And I should note, Anne-Marie, traveling around covering this campaign all year, you know, we've been so focused on it, but a lot of voters we talk to just aren't paying attention at this point. Hmm. It's a lot to consider. Uh, there's a lot of time left to go. So this could be the first time that people are, are really tuning in to kind of see this split screen and see if they want to show up at all. Hmm. Caitlin Huey Burns. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Well, both of the presumptive nominees are stepping up their outreach with black voters ahead of tonight's debate. CBS News polling finds President Biden still holds a major lead with the group over former President Donald Trump. But that support is less than what it was in 2020. Don't forget, you can follow along with CBS News 24-7 for the first presidential debate. Coverage will begin streaming today at 5 p.m. Eastern on America Decides. The debate begins at 9 p.m. Eastern.